last month, not knowing what to do in my life. Um, I binged really bad last night, and I don't film my binges anymore because, like, well, it's like I don't know it's going to be a binge when it starts, and so I don't want to, like, film it, like, preemptively with the knowledge that it's going to be a binge, because then it's definitely going to be a binge, you know, and then I'm going to, like, eat as much, you know, it's like I'm filming it, oh, I might as well keep eating, it's a fucking binge, you know, like, once I decide that it's a binge, it's, I mean, it's a binge, if that makes sense, I don't know, I'm on my way to therapy right now, I am so unproductive this morning. I'm supposed to go to I was supposed to go to Ace's house after therapy, but none of my stuff is ready, so I'm gonna go to therapy and then go back home and waste more time before I go to his house. Fuck, I just missed my turn. Doesn't matter. I don't know. All I really want to do is fast all week. But like I'm just really I don't I'm like really upset because I've been working out, like, I've been doing, for, like, two weeks now, two or three weeks, I've been lifting five days a week, and I can really see progress, honestly, that quick, I can see progress, but, like, I want to fast, I want to not, I feel so fat, like, and I've been eating, like, 1,500 calories, but working out five times a week, like I said, and I still feel so fat, I feel, and I'm, like, 150 pounds, I'm, like, at one of my higher weights. I just want to fast, but it's, like, if I fast, then that's, like, really, like, I can't lift, you know? Like, I need protein. I should be eating a lot if I'm going to be lifting. I don't know. I'm just upset. And I feel depressed, and... Every day, I just smoke. And I mean, I guess I'm streaming, so that's like my thing, that's like my job. But it doesn't feel productive enough to me. I don't know, I'm going to talk about it in therapy today, but I don't even know how to, like, word how I'm feeling completely. That's why, I guess that's why I'm, like, trying, <laughs> I'm trying right now on my blog before I try at my therapist. I just want to stop, I just want to eat like 500 calories a day, I know that sounds fucked up, but it's like the only thing I want so bad right now, it's like, because whenever I have like the serious control over my diet like that, like I have complete control over my life usually, and so I just want to feel that feeling again, I feel like I have no control in my life right now, and I feel like I don't know what's happening, and it's really upsetting me. personal trainer of sorts, you know, because he'll, he'll help me a lot, and he knows a lot more about 
lifting than I do, and I'm at his house like four days a week, so, you know, it'll motivate me to go more, because it sucks having to wait until I get home, and, you know, going by myself is not fun. I think, I think that doing this will make me a lot more motivated and enjoy it more, but now I'm confused. I don't know what to do about lifting weights, because I really want to fast. Maybe I'll just eat like 1,200 calories a day, go back to that, I'll feel skinny again. So, I just got back from therapy, made a, like, you know, like, when you're really depressed and everything seems really difficult to do, I made, like, a basic list of things that I want to do today as, like, a start. Eat 1,200 calories or less of nutritious food. I know that's not the most healthy amount, but, like, I really wanted to fast, and I expressed that to my therapist, so, like, came up with this compromise to, like, feel better after the binge, but also still be healthy. Drink 60 ounces of liquid, something that I've been working on a lot, but never really did, but, like, since I'm doing nothing else today, I'm, like, letting myself not pretty much do nothing else today so I feel like something that would be good would be to just focus on my eating and drinking basically like you know like I'm going back to basic things like I would put shower on this list but I showered late last night maybe like I'll put shower tonight on the list go for a walk because it's it's warm out and because I should get out of the house I need to call my doctor for something that's on the list. That's something I need to do today. I should do a lot of other things. Like I'm, But I'm trying not to beat myself up over not going to the gym, not streaming, not like working on my resume, you know, um, and vlog today. I, I feel like that's like one productive thing I can do today. I don't know. I just feel like shit. I stopped at my P.O. box and I think this is from one of my viewers who does keto and he, he was like, was saying if I did keto, he would, well, he would send me these bagels in case I wanted to do keto and I don't know, I'm thinking maybe I should do that. Maybe that would be like a good thing to kind of jumpstart this. Oh my God. Look at this kind of jumpstart like eating healthy I don't know sometimes I feel like keto would be good for me because I feel like I'm honestly addicted to carbs like I have like obsessions with eating certain carbs like before bed at certain times like to feel good about my I, I really don't know how to explain it it's like I have to have like a safe food at night oh this is bread okay so this is This bread has 45 calories per slice, 7 grams of protein, damn, 7 grams of carbs, but 7 grams of fiber, so essentially no carbs, no net carbs. That's crazy. So, I don't know how to decide right now, but I think I might just, like, go freaking keto today. Everything bagels, 90 calories a bagel, 14 grams of protein, wow, that is so good. 14 grams of carbs, 14 grams of fiber. What is this made out of? The first ingredient is whey protein isolate. I feel like these are going to taste like crap. Whatever, I'll try it. I'm excited to try it. But I don't want to waste these unless I'm doing keto, so I feel kind of confused. Cinnamon. Cinnamon bagel. Looks pretty similar to the everything bagel. Weird. Well, hmm. Maybe I'll go keto. I'll let you guys know if I do it. Yeah. Things first. First thing I'm drinking today. 
17 ounces of water. Goal is 60 ounces today. Okay, so I just decided, like, randomly, not randomly, but, uh, very impulsively that I'm gonna do keto this week, and I'm going to Izzy's house in, like, an hour, so I need to pack, like, food that I can eat so we don't have to buy food there. So I'm bringing these low-carb bagels. I'll bring the one, I'll keep one pack at home. Cocoa powder to make, like, I don't know, a dessert with almond flour. Cocoa powder, peanut butter powder, maybe some protein powder, like an egg. Protein bars, protein drinks that are all keto, mixed nuts. My plan for keto is to kind of just like not track calories and just eat when I'm hungry and see how it goes. Because everything's pretty much healthy, except for like cheese. Obviously, I don't eat too much or butter. I'm bringing cheese, Munster cheese, which is delicious, chicken, bacon... Cheese sticks, spinach, broccoli, and some butter. I don't know. I'm nervous because I don't think I've ever done keto ever. I'm trying to think if I if I had oh some peanut butter powder. Even though I'll probably have regular peanut butter too. Like I'm also gonna pack some full fat Greek yogurt and some half and half. I'm pretty sure half and half is keto still. Like especially because. Like, you're allowed to have, like, 20 grams of carbs or something a day, and I definitely, like, almost none of this stuff has any carbs. Okay, this has three grams of net carbs, but I'll, I'll watch carbs, like, I'll count how many carbs I do in a day to make sure it still stays keto. Um, I don't, I'm scared. I am scared, honestly. But I'll, I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes. Oh my god, I'm gonna bring this whole thing of food. Yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on how it goes and everything I try. Okay, so it's almost 4 p.m. Hey, what's up? And I just got to Izzy's what's up, house. What's up, what's up? Vlog? Let's go. Vlogging every day now. No. Daily vlog, dude. Charles Trippy status. <laughs> and I'm eating, like, a handful of nuts and this protein bar. I'm just roughly tracking because, uh, I don't know. I'm just going to try out keto. I'm just, I just want to see how it goes. I'll roughly track track calories to see like how much protein and generally how much how many calories I'm consuming but I'm not going to take it too seriously also drinking another 21 ounces of liquid and yeah I think I suspect it'll be pretty hard for me to overeat on keto because the only thing that I really overeat on is carbs so I haven't been back here in so long. It's so cool back here, though. It does look... It looks really cool in this lighting. Wait, dude. It's like we're on the moon at one point. On the moon? Okay. I can't wait to see when we're on the moon. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I thought it was going to be like a big pit over here. No, there's a big pit over here. walk done and I called my doctor slash pharmacy but they didn't pick up they'll call me back I hope so those two things are off my list what else on my list cook dinner no it's eat six drink 60 ounces of water and eat eat 1200 calories except instead I'm changing that to eat keto today we're going to Walmart to get some groceries we'll show you guys what we get so is you want five guys can't eat it but I can eat the peanuts well, I might have a, butt, a bite of this cheeseburger or lettuce wrap thing. But I can eat all these, so. A nice burger with lettuce. Extra cheese, extra bacon. Ruined it with tomato, though. Extra good. That looks really good. Alright, we're back from Walmart. I'll show what you got. Eggs. Eggs in here. Um, coleslaw. For dumplings, I'm gonna make green dice green chilies for chili, cannellini be beans for chili, potatoes. This potatoes. is for like three different meals. So we're making steak and potatoes for one meal, chili, turkey chili for another meal, and chicken dumplings for the third. Oranges. So did you throw out the other oranges that you had? Oh uh, no, they're right there still. Oh no, not those. No, they're oh, oh, there. Oh, okay. yeah. 
He says he doesn't like these, so I'm going to try them. He says they're hard to peel and juicy. Um, let's see. Cottage cheese. We're going to make like a, like a healthy cottage cheese fruit dessert. Sour cream. Fancy toilet paper that he paid too much money for. Fancy. <laughs> Rye bread. Steak. Zucchini, which goes into the, um, the chili, actually. Greek yogurt and more nicotine gum. Since it's... Last but not least. <laughs> oh, no, don't show that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, it's time to try this keto bread. I'm, like, really nervous for some reason. I just opened it. I mean, it smells like bread. Tastes like, hmm, eggy protein, but with a bread aftertaste. Like, I wasn't expecting that. It's not bad. It's not bad. I'm gonna put some butter on this. Alright, I'm gonna make a little sandwich. A little sandwich. All right, here is the sandwich I made. It's chicken, cheese, bacon, mayo, and then the bread. I also made Izzy a huge omelet and myself some tea with creamer in it. So let's taste the sandwich. There's a lot of cheese. There's Munster cheese and Cheddar Jack. Yeah. It's good. Mm -hmm. The thing about keto is like, I just love my carbs so much. But that's why this is so, like, this is just like nothing that great to me. Even though it's like tasty things like bacon and cheese. I just want some oatmeal with sugar so bad, but it's going to be so good, like, I really think this is going to help with binging. I don't want to, I mean, the only thing I'd binge on is maybe cheese, but like, let's bring this to Izzy. And drink my tea. I just finished my sandwich. <clears throat> I'm with Izzy. I feel kind of nervous and I don't know and I, j I like feel nervous like literally just even though I feel like full well not full but like not not hungry I feel like nervous that I can't eat oats or bread I don't know why but I do and I feel like a little sick nervous because I can't eat it I don't know it's like it's it's in my head it's all in my head okay so Last thing I'm making today is a keto mug cake, and this is, I, I love playing around with, like, stuff like this, so first I put in, like, um, a tablespoon and a half of coconut oil that I melted, um, again, I'm winging this, I'm gonna put, like, three big tablespoons of almond flour, maybe one of coconut flour, Two tablespoons of cocoa powder. This is baking powder, I guess, like half a teaspoon. Half a handful. <laughs> a pinch of salt. An egg that you drip down the. <laughs> 
side and onto your hands. This represents me crying right now. <laughs> what else am I forgetting? Oh yeah, fake sugar. I don't know how much it'll need, so let's put it in the The stuff. key ingredient. Fake sugar. I wonder if I should add some Look at that. liquid. Does that look good? It looks pretty good. Looks like pudding. It's cake. Ooh, does anyone ever else like feel like um, <laughs> the egg way of an egg looks like cum, or I mean like the vagina cum, or like like one of my, nah yeah like cum. So having two slices of keto bread with butter, um, yeah. I don't know why it's like. I'm like half panicking because I can't eat bread and it's like it's so mental it's like bread is just like such a comfort food for me this is not that bad not as good like if I was watching this video and I saw someone eating this I was like wow that probably tastes like just like bread it doesn't but it's good enough though I need to stop freaking out. This is a choice. I could just I can eat bread whenever I want. It's just it's just I've only been keto for eight hours or whatever. Mm. I added a little bit more almond flour and some water and some cream. To get like a softer consistency. I'm gonna cook it for a minute. Alright. <clears throat> Here it is. I kind of mixed it up a little bit. It's more like a keto chocolate cake scramble. Scrambled cake. My favorite breakfast. My favorite dessert. It's really hot. Like, it has a good flavor, but I hate the texture. Yeah, it's coconut texture. I hate it. Flavor tastes like chocolate. The texture is just like coconut cake. I don't know how to describe it. Yeah, even though I only put one spoonful of the, of the coconut, there, it's it was all almond flour, you know? Pretty good, though. Oh, I hope I'm not allergic to almonds. It's like all almonds. Fuck it. If I die, at least I'll go out eating... Cake. <laughs> Semi mediocre uh -huh. keto cake. <laughs> he thinks he's possibly allergic to almonds. He said last time he had it, he felt like his throat was closing up. <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna. <coughs> uh oh. <laughs> Are you serious? Do you feel like it? I thought I was gonna die. <laughs> but. Yeah. It was a bad time. Not fun. So it's like 4 a.m. We're gonna get ready for bed. I'm gonna go to bed, wake up, and start the day tomorrow. A lot of streaming and a lot of going to the gym. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get a membership at your gym tomorrow. Yes. Maybe I'll vlog tomorrow too, I don't know. So my verdict for keto, it's honestly harder than I thought it was gonna be. Like I feel like I was gonna like it more. I thought there was, I was gonna enjoy the food more, but. <laughs> How, what were you going to enjoy about keto? Like bacon and like cheese. Mm -hmm. But I realized that all I care about is bread. And oats and popcorn. That's all I care about apparently. Just eat that. And it's like... Make the anti-keto diet. Anti-keto keto club. Carb diet? Yeah, all carbs. It won't have the same effect. Also... Does anyone watch BoJack Horseman? I finished the series and I cried because I'm so sad it's over. Anyone else? I want to talk to someone about it. No, For some reason, nobody I know at all has seen it. How has no one seen it? It's like one of the highest rated shows on Netflix. Please tell me one of you guys have seen it. But yeah, keto... We'll see. It's just the first day. That keto bread's a lifesaver. I've already eaten like five slices of that.
All right, I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Goodbye. Watching her twitch.